Only two weeks after Mauna Loa started erupting, the volcano is now quiet. The U.S. Geological Survey announced today that Mauna Loa's eruption, the first in 38 years, is likely over for now. Scientists say the lava supply to the Fisher 3 vent ceased on Saturday. Sulfur dioxide emissions have dropped near pre-eruption levels and volcanic tremors and earthquakes associated with the eruption have greatly diminished. Scientists say the volcano erupted about 200 to 250 million cubic meters of lava. This just in comparison is around a fifth or whatever of the lava, maybe a little bit less than, um, than a fifth of the lava that was put out in the 2018 eruption. Um, all of this ended up on land on Mauna Loa. A lot of it was up around the summit area, filling, you know, crossing the caldera and where it spilled out of the south end of the summit and went down the slope just a little bit. Now, with the lowered alert level at Mauna Loa, Hawaii Civil Defense also announced the detour route to view the lava. We'll be scaling back its hours starting tomorrow from 4 p.m. to midnight. The route will close permanently on Thursday at midnight. Meanwhile, USGS also reports that Kilauea is no longer erupting at Halemaumau. Lava supply to the Halemaumau lava lake stopped on Friday, a day before Mauna Loa's Fisher 3 ended. Scientists say while the two volcanoes are independent, it's not completely clear whether there is any link between the volcanoes.